ChatGPT has just introduced GPTs, which is a big leap in the world of AI. And GPTs are basically a custom version of ChatGPT that you could build yourself without any technical knowledge, any coding, and you can train them with your own set of data and you could give it your own set of instructions. And if you decide to share them, you could share them publicly or you could just keep it private and use it privately to interact with your own data. And these are meant to be very specific version of ChatGPT with a very narrow focus. Now, just to show you a few different examples, OpenAI, when they released this, they actually created a bunch of different GPTs for us to test out. So this one, for example, is called Game Time, and its very narrow purpose is just to teach you or explain board games and card games, and it will do this for any type of board games and card games. This other one is called Tech Support Advisor. It basically helps you troubleshoot things like printers in a step-by-step -step format. This is the one I've been training for the last couple of days. This is called AI Guide, and it's an AI expert with the latest AI insights. And I gave it my own set of instructions. I completely trained it with my own data. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do this yourself with your ChatGPT account. So if you go to chat.openai.com, you're going to land on this page. If you don't have the paid version of ChatGPT, unfortunately, at this time, you cannot do this. So you have to upgrade to GPT-4. Basically, GPT Plus, that's the paid version of GPT. Once you upgrade, you will get this option right here. So you can go to the Explore tab on the left side, and the Explore tab looks like this. So right here are the ones that I've built myself. They're called my GPTs, and I've created these for different use cases. These are the recently used, and these are all the ones by OpenAI. Pretty soon, there is going to be an entire open store. So the GPT store is going to be like the App Store if you have an iPhone or the Google Play Store if you have an Android. People are going to be able to create these GPTs, put them out publicly, and other people can use them. And OpenAI, the company behind all this, is going to give you a revenue share. So depending on how much is getting used, they're going to share the revenue. More information is going to become available once that rolls out. So stay tuned for that. Right now, let's press right here, Create a GPT. And I'll walk you quickly through how to do this. It's very, very simple. You have two tabs here on the left side, Create and Configure. Configure is a bit more advanced, but I will point that out for you as well. Create here, we'll go through it first. And then on the right side, you'll see a live preview. So things like names and logos, as they get created, they will show up on the right side. So this time I'm going to say Create a GPT to help people create YouTube thumbnails because this has the power of Dolly. So you could actually create images from scratch over here too. And it says Thumbnail Wizard. Is that a name that you would like? I'm going to say yes, that's actually pretty good. The second thing is going to do is going to generate a profile picture for you. So right over here is going to add the name and it's going to add a profile picture. If you want to add your own, you could go to the Configure tab and press the plus sign and upload one too. But right now it's going to use Dolly, which is a text to image generation platform, and it's going to go ahead and create it. So as you can see, there it is, Thumbnail Wizard. Very great looking thumbnail, actually. I'm going to say I do like it. And then it's going to create conversation starters. So you see these four right here. It's a great way for someone to just click one of these to get a conversation going. You could go to the Configure tab and you could see the conversation starters here. You could press X if you don't like one of them and you could type in your own if you like as well. Let's go back to Create. It says any tips, any layout advice. It's basically asking me for more customization options. And then it's also asking me anything I should avoid. And in this case, I just said use text in your thumbnails because Dolly could actually create text and it does a pretty good job with the spelling for the most part. Three to four words. If you see any of my thumbnails, they usually have three or four words. I said make them pop. So this is something I would do with Photoshop. Now I'm going to have Dolly take care of that. Use vibrant colors. And then it's going to say, do you prefer formal tone or casual tone? Friendly approach. So I need to describe the tone to it. So I'm going to say friendly approach. And I'm going to put inspiration. All it says, do you want straightforward, humorous? You could give it a lot of different type of tone here to get it act a very specific way. If you want to type these in manually, by the way, you could go to the Configure tab here. And as you can see under Instructions, it's creating a set of instructions. So you could add your own. This is a big box here. You have 8,000 character limit here to put a ton of different custom instructions. But in this beginner's guide, I just want to walk you through creating it with just very plain language. I'm just having a very natural conversation with it, and it's taking care of all the things on the back end for me. 
And I just said I'm ready to go. That's all it really takes. Right now it's ready to go. I just have to save it and then I get a link to share it or I could put it inside of the store. But let me show you actually how I'm going to create a thumbnail here. And I just gave it a prompt. I said, make the thumbnail about the introduction of GPTs and let's see what it comes up with. And there is our first thumbnail. Not too bad for its first attempt. It put an extra I here for AI. So I will have to give it a revision to tell it to fix the spelling. So spelling could be a problem, but it did most of the things I want. It used about five different words here. So between the range that I gave it, and it's really popping. It's making the text pop. That was the custom instruction I gave it. I said, make the text pop. That's what it did. It's using vibrant colors. And I could just click download here. Obviously this one needs a little bit of revision to fix the spelling, but not too bad for a very basic prompt. Now let's go ahead and save our GPT. We could always come back. I'm going to show you how to edit it in a second, but if you come to save, you have three options. So the only me option basically makes this a private GPT just for you. The one where you could share it with other people, this one gives you a link so you could share it with other people and public. This is how you could get it into the store. Once that gets released, that's the revenue share model. So all that is through the public option. So I'm going to leave it on public right now. And if you press this pencil icon here, it's going to bring up this thing called a profile builder. So this is what it looks like. So you could go ahead and turn off or turn on your name over here and you could link a website to it. So it's going to give you a little text. You'll have to put that for your domain provider. I've done that and I've linked it. So it actually is going to show my website link, a great way to get people to my website, for example. And this is what people are going to see publicly. So thumbnail wizard is the name creative guide for YouTube thumbnails. Great. And skill leap AI. That's my website. So if you click on it, it's going to take me directly to the website, which is awesome. If you want to edit it, if you press this right here, this drop down, so you could see the about, that's going to bring this up right here. So it's going to tell people that this is powered by GPT-4. The link to my website is right over here. And if you want to edit it yourself, if you go right here to edit GPTs, it's going to bring you back to the same page. So you could again have a conversation with it. Let's say it's always making the same type of spelling. Make sure you give it that as something to avoid. And you could come to the configure tab and make all kinds of different configuration. And right here it says knowledge. So here you could upload all kinds of different files, PDFs, Word docs. And right now you could do 10 different files and each one make it as large as you can. I tested this out. I have one with almost a hundred thousand words in it. And when you upload that data here, I just chose some pictures here, but if you upload them, it's going to basically see them like this. And again, as soon as you do that, you have to come up here and update because you're making a change. So it needs to be updated. And if you come back to the homepage under my GPTs, you'll see the thumbnail wizard and all the other ones that I'm custom building right now. And just to show you an example of another one here, if I edit this one, you could see under my custom instructions, I have about nine different files, even an Excel sheet that's going to require code interpreter here to pull information from. This is the AI guide. I made this available in the public store as well. So that is the way to custom train it, not only with your own set of instructions that you could add over here or by creating it through the chat and your knowledge base over here and your conversation started. These all take place on this page. And I'm in the process of making a complete GPT course. I think this is going to be the next big revolution in AI. And we will be adding this to Skill Leap AI, our e-learning platform. This platform currently has almost 15 different courses, over 400 different tutorials, and about 10,000 different prompts across the different courses that you could get access to. And it's completely free to try as a free trial. So you could jump in, see if it's a good fit for you. If it is, you subscribe monthly and get access to everything. You never have to buy an individual course and you can cancel anytime. So I'll link this below as well. This is called Skill Leap AI. Now stay tuned for more GPT updates. This is one of the biggest updates so far in AI. I'm really excited to make more videos about it. I hope you found this one useful and I'll see you next time.